Yo, 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 what's going on YouTube? Welcome, welcome back to the channel. Um, as far as the last video we came out with, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the feedback, all the support, all the thumbs up. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, I think we had like 300 views on it. Uh, we still, we're still at 45, I think, or 46 subscribers, somewhere around the 40 range. Um, so hopefully we could get that up. So if you haven't already, make sure you go down below and subscribe. You know, like this video at the end if you like it. But um, yeah, as far as the last video, I asked you guys if you guys wanted me to talk about anything else at all. So we got a, we had a couple questions um, about trademark and uh, copyright. So this is something that I did myself. I did the trademark myself, the copyright myself. I just did the LLC myself. I did everything myself. I didn't go through an, uh, an attorney or anything like that um, because I know it would cost thousands of dollars. So I figured out how I can do it on my own, you know, so that I can save all that money. But eventually when I get bigger and bigger, then I'll have an attorney to, you know, look through everything again. But I know I did everything correctly. But you know, as the brand gets bigger, you know, we have to, when it comes to legalizing and all that stuff, you have to get more into it because you just never know. But as far as the name Visionaire, it's trademark, copyright, all that, um, was never used before. So, you know, it was good to go for me. But um, yeah, guys, so this is what you're gonna do. When it comes to trademark, the first thing you wanna do is go to USPTO.gov. I'm gonna write it down below in the description. So make sure you go to USPTO.gov. There'll be a search engine tab. All you're gonna do there is you're gonna put in the name that you want your brand to be. Your brand to be. Um, and if nothing comes up, you're good to go. Now, if something does come up, this is the thing. If it involves clothing, then you won't be able to use your name. But if the name you wanna use is not used for clothing, you can still use it, which is a good thing. Now, another thing you also wanna do is make sure you go to godaddy.com and make sure that nobody is using the website name you wanna use, because then you're gonna to have to figure out, you know, what you want your website to be called. Um, so go to uspto.gov, make sure, make sure you search up your name, and guys, look, this was my situation. The reason why I didn't go through a lawyer or anything like that was because I didn't have the money. I didn't have the thousands of dollars. Now, if you have, you know, if you have money saved up, if you got your parents help and all that, you know, good for you and take advantage of that and go with a lawyer. I mean, at the end of the day, you could still do it on your own, but if you have the money, man, go ahead and just do it the right way. I mean, regardless, you're gonna do it the right way, but you're just not gonna screw up, you know? Like, in my case, I ended up screwing up on one part. So I did all the legalizing, all the trademark, the copyright, and one thing that I messed up on was changing my address. So the address I had put, I had moved from that address, and six months later, cause it's a long process, so six months later, they sent me some paperwork that everything was approved, every, everything was good to go. So all I had to do was sign it, and then send it back, and then we were good. So a year passes by, no, it was about like nine, 10 months passed by. And uh, mind you, I did this two years ago. Nine, 10 months passed by and I got an email from a company saying that my, my name was uh, forbidden, that um, I guess it was gonna be taken out of the system and I had to take immediate action. I had to pay a couple hundred dollars to revive the name. Um, so the name was dead. That's what it was, since I didn't sign that paperwork and send it back. Um, so literally, me not changing my address and signing that piece of paper, cost, it cost me hundreds of dollars. So that's one thing I suggest you doing is staying on top of all your information as far as address, logo, all that. Like If anything needs to be changed, stay on top of that. Also, you can add logos. Um, but yeah, that's, that's that was basically it. I had lost, well, I didn't lose because at the end of the day, I, you know, I see it as an investment. Um, I had to put up a couple hundred, you know, hundred dollars to fix that situation. Um, but yeah, this is the thing, man, is sometimes you got to make sure you do everything right at first and make sure you're on top of things. Like when that happened, I was going through some things, you know, I've been living on my own. So when that happened, you know, I was going through a couple little things and luckily I had the money to pay it because I ended up paying it the last week I was able to change it, change it from being dead to revive. Um, and literally, if I didn't have that money that week, then the name would have been gone, you know? So all that money that I paid would have been for nothing. So when you're going to trademark and copyright your name, um, also, if you need any help, you can call up your state. Um, 
your secretary of state, I believe it is. So like, for instance, with me, um, my where all my state stuff is done at is in Harrisburg. So I ended up calling up there and asking them for help, you know, as I was doing the process. So that's another thing you can do. Um, also, a lot of you younger guys that are planning on doing it, uh, have your parents help you out. Like if you're younger than 18, have your parents help you out so you make sure you do things the right way. Um, Cause there's a lot of questions on there that might be difficult for you. You might not understand what they're saying. So have your parents help you out. But other than that, that was pretty much it, man. And when it comes to legalizing, you can do a sole proprietorship or you can do an LLC. Um, another thing is, I know you guys probably heard of LegalZoom all over TV. You know, they do your LLC and all that. Um, so one thing I suggest you doing is researching on how to do it by yourself. Because I realized if I were to do it through LegalZoom, it would have been like $450, $500 to do it. I ended up paying $125. That's the actual fee to do your LLC. So, like I said, make sure you guys call. Don't don't be lazy. Just make a phone call. Do your research on Google. I'm telling you guys, it will save you a lot, a lot of money in the beginning. But other than that, sorry for my little man in the back. He just woke up. But um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video helped you guys out. You know. At least, you know, before starting your brand and trying to trademark it and doing any of that, hopefully this video helps you out and guides you the correct way. Like I said, guys, if you guys have any questions at all, just call up, just call up the state. Um, when it comes to LLC, call up the state. Anything. Don't hesitate. Don't procrastinate. Get it done because at the end of the day, it's going to save you a lot of money. So thank you guys for watching this video. Like I said, if you like the video, uh, like the video down below. If you don't like the video, you could dislike it if you want. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, make sure you go down below and subscribe. Definitely means a lot to me. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm off this. Uh, we'll probably be dropping another video tomorrow. Um, it's just trying to figure out, like, you know, what to talk about. Because, um, you know, my life isn't that interesting right now. Like, all I do is just, you know, I work on a brand from home. I go to the gym. I'm with my son. And that's pretty much all it is right now until the brand blows up and then we're in a warehouse and, you know, all that happens, but other than that, I'm off this, guys. Peace. Thank you for the wa thank you for watching the video, and stay tuned for the next video. Sometimes I have like moments where I like pause and I'm just like, <clears throat> like what should I say? Like I just it just happens, man. But <laughs> thank you for tuning in. Hopefully this video helped you out for the fifth time already. Peace. You know I had to say this again, shout out to the haters.